Finally, we are going to execute our test within our iOS simulator as we did all the configuration in our previous video. So all I'm going to do is this. I am going to run our test using the uh, Ripple tool and I'm going to see to identify the object within the uh, application and I'm going to see how it works. So basically, I have added the application in here for the test apps uh, for this particular simulator. Just iPhone SE iOS 11.0.1 0 .1, right so everything is available over here and then i'm going to execute this particular test so i'm basically i'm going to run this uh test and i'm going to see how it's going to work so if i run this particular test it should basically uh open the simulator and run the test for us so i'm going to hold tight uh, and i'm going to see if it's really going to work so basically i just made a change of platform there and then i added the application in the test apps and now I expect the framework to automatically run our test on this particular simulator. If that's going to happen, then that's really, really awesome. If it is not, then we'll figure out what is the problem. I think it's something is going to happen because I saw that the emulator or the simulator just closed and it is going to reopen for us right now. So let's wait for a few seconds. All right, seems like the emulator or the simulator is just booting up right now and uh, all right so it seems like the device agent has just opened and now our application should install and it should work as well you can see that the ESM app just now installed right and it is there we go it just opened which is amazing that's the one which i was expecting for and you can see that our uh, ripple tool has also opened alongside with the applications being spawned within this particular uh, simulator that's amazing. So you can see that the same piece of automation code that we wrote in Android in Windows operating system is currently running in Mac operating system as well as in the iOS application. Amazing. But now there is some change as I said before. This particular object identification will be changed so it's very easy to identify what is the object changes. I guess the add item is going to be the text of it but still if I hit the tree you can see that the text is add item here. So basically it's pretty much the same thing. You can just do the same exact thing here. App of tab X says that X dot uh, text of add item. And if I hit the enter, you can see that the tap is gonna happen there. Amazing. And now if I do one more tree, I should basically see these particular objects. This is nothing but the new item as well as the uh, item description. So both of them is also coming in here so basically i can easily do that as well i can just try to uh, figure out what is this particular object and i'm going to perform that operation so uh, in order to send some text within this particular new item which is the uh, which is the one in here uh, i can just do this app dot enter text of x says so that x dot uh, maybe I can say text of new item I'm gonna say EA hit enter so now it should type EA within this title so let's see what's gonna happen oops I think I'm identifying the object wrongly see if I do a tree here okay I guess the problem is here hmm do you see I'm not looking at the right object here so this is the item description and this is the item name so this is the text which I, I has to I have to type basically I just do something wrong in here I guess it's item name and if I hit enter there we go so it seems like the text is about to enter there uh, but because of some reason it is not entering which is okay because uh, uh, maybe it's iOS and this guy is not recognizing or something like that uh, but I know that this code will work fine because I tried before as well and uh, it was working fine so let me do this again and let me try it again let's see what's gonna happen yep yeah that's working and you can see that it's working fine without any problem as well even if I do this so maybe I need to hide this particular keyboard here so how do I do that uh add item so let's see what is the uh, object identification for the description as well so if i do a tree 
for description it is actually item description as the text right all right so this is the item description hit enter there we go so it's entering basically so everything is working fine i can either do a copy to copy all the values whichever i have entered into the clipboard and then i can just stop the test completely and then i can uh, record all the objects which is already written for uh, the android into ios but again those things you can create as a separate project or uh, separate pages within in here because as you know that for the add item page it was txt title txt description and save button as an id but here it is actually of text item name and item description which is kind of different than compared to its earlier uh, procedures at least for the android uh, in ios so we have to do some kind of changes here we should write the text in such a way that it should be txt android title and txt android description and btn android save similarly txt ios title txt ios description and btn ios save something like that because right now the change is this our application is not pretty much similar to how it should look like for android which is kind of a uh, which is kind of a project which i have chosen as a template before I started with the Android application. But in real case, both the Android as well as the iOS application right now, which is developed in Ionic or uh, Apache Cordava, are gonna be pretty much same like how it works in Android as well as iOS. But this one is kind of very, very different, at least because it's pretty native. So uh, you should either talk with your developer to develop the application pretty much close to how it looks like in Android as well as in iOS so that you can unify the test automation as well right so as of now this is the case in here in order to overcome this particular situation we need to record but instead of recording and i am wasting so much of time because we have already discussed all these things like working with different objects and performing these operation i have already written the code in such a way that we can run the test and perform this operation that you can see in here so basically you can go to this add list steps in here that we already automated and then you can see that I have done the code in here and I enter the list details as this. So here, instead of uh, performing these operations, I can just comment this particular piece of code and then I can either copy the one which I, uh, which I just uh, wrote in there. So app dot tab, blah, 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 all these things. I am going to copy the code which I have already written something like this. So you can see that this guy, the, uh, app dot tap of add item is going to enter uh, a value in there and similarly the uh, item name is going to enter some values and then item description so you can e either put this ea and for the description you can do this ea is awesome so which was something which we entered for the android and then if you hit the save button it's going to enter the save right so i'm going to comment this particular piece of code as well so i'm going to save it for now and then if I try to run this particular piece of test, you can see that our test is going to execute in such a way that it's going to open the browser, it's going to open the application, uh, and then it's going to perform all the operation. So I should have commented the application contest dot ripple as well, but I actually forgot to do that. So if we close the ripple, it will still do the same exact thing which, uh, which was happening. So let me do that once the ripple window just appears. All right, so the application has just opened there and the ripple window is appearing. So I'm gonna terminate that, but you just keep in mind, in just keep an eye in here, it's gonna perform some operation. You can see that it's gonna hit the add item for now. If everything goes fine, it's gonna happen. Mm-hmm, nope. It did not it says more options so I guess the place where I am actually doing things is wrong so let me copy this particular piece of code maybe uh, let me cut this piece of code completely uh, it should be the initial thing which is going to do is the clicking the add button over here 
so basically the code which I need to paste is over here rather in the ad itself so let me do that and in the meantime since we came all the way over here I'm actually going to go to the test initialize and I'm going to delete this particular piece of line which we don't really require so I'm going to save this for now and then I'm going to run this test so let's quickly see what's going to happen so now I expect to create at least one list of item with EA and EA is awesome uh, in the list so let's see all right super you can see that the add item has been clicked and EA and EA is awesome has been entered and you can see that the EA is awesome uh, text is appearing here here in the uh, list for this particular uh, application which is cool so now you can see that our test is actually running even within the iOS application with no code change basically the only code change that we made is the identification property other than that everything is pretty much fine and even if you go to the add list steps you can see I'm still using the application contest and performing these operation so that's it guys this is how we can work with all these options within your Mac operating system which is the pretty much same code which we can work even in which we worked even in Android of Windows ecosystem thank you